The number of chocolate chips in a bag of chocolate chip cookies is approximately normally distributed. We're told the mean is 1,262 chips with a standard deviation of 118 chips. And here we have a couple of questions about this. So first it says to determine the 28th percentile uh, for the number of chocolate chips in a bag. So here we're going to do this in StatCrunch by using a uh, normal distribution. So I'm going to open up StatCrunch. And I'm going to do all of this work in the normal calculator. So let's go stats, calculator, and we are told it's a normal or normally distributed, so I'll select normal. Okay, so within here, uh, we are told the mean and the standard deviation, so I'm going to enter in those values here. This was 1,262 for the mean and a standard deviation of 118. Okay, the 28th percentile is the same thing as saying like when do you accumulate 28 percent of the data so what we're going to do is set this to less than we're not going to enter in a z-score instead we're going to enter in 28 percent or 0.28 as a probability here if you click compute it tells you how far you have to go until you've accumulated 28 percent of the data that is precisely the definition of the 28th percentile and so that number is here. It's 1,193 if we round to the nearest whole number. So this is the value I'm going to put in for part A. So that is 1,193. I'll check my answer. All right. Um, OK, after this, for part B, it says the number of chocolate chips in a bag that make up the middle 95% of the data is, and here we want a, a range of values. So if we try to view this on the normal curve, so if we say the middle 95%, it means you start at the center and you go an equal distance away from the middle. So we're going to need two values, how far to the left and how far to the right do we go. I'm going to switch the calculator from the standard mode to between. We're going to leave the mean and the standard deviation alone. But to say um, you want the middle 95% of the data, that means you put 0.95 here as a probability, which represents 95%. If you click Compute, it'll tell you how far you go to the left from the center, that's the smaller number, as well as how far you have to go to the right, that's this larger number, so you've accumulated 95% of the data. So the smaller number is going to be, if we round to the nearest whole number, that would be 1,031. I'm going to put that here. And then the larger value, if I round to the nearest whole number, it's going to be 1,493. And then the last part of this is asking for the interquartile range. Okay, so going back to my calculator, um, that's the middle 50% of your data. So this is really similar to part B. The only difference is we're going to switch it from 95% to 0.50%. So how far do you go from the middle? An equal distance in both directions, so you've accumulated 50% of your data. Okay, um, so the two values we have are this would be the smaller number, and then this one is going to be the larger number. And if I read this a little bit more carefully, it actually asks for the interquartile range. So if I go back here to StatCrunch, so when we say the range, it means how far did I travel when we go from this point up to this point. So it's like, what's the distance of this line? To figure that out, you can take the difference of these two numbers. You can subtract them, take this value, and subtract it from this one. So I'm going to pull up a calculator to do that. OK, so um, just to make sure I don't have a rounding error, I'm going to round this out to one decimal point. I'm going to do the same thing for here. And then I'm going to subtract those two values. So first, um, I'm going to enter, well, this 5 is going to bump up to a 6. So in my calculator, I'll put 1,341.6. And then I'm going to subtract 
1182.4. Okay, and uh, this is the value that I get. Um, it asks me to round this to the nearest whole number, so that's going to be uh, 159. So that's the interquartile range. Um, that would be, well, if you have 50% of your data in the middle, how far are you traveling? How far is it, uh, do you have to go from here to get to here to actually get 50% of the data? So that was 159. I'll check my answer. And that is it for this problem.